Hey folks, hope you're doing well. My name is Didi. Welcome to Healthy Hearing Loss. Got a new toy. In this video, we are going to be talking and delving into some new knowledge that I have gained from my subscribers. So they have inspired me to make this video along with sharing some of my own experiences. Let's get talking. Back in May 30th, 2021, I created a video and filmed about the Bonac TV connector. And I did an unboxing and as well as how to set it up and some pros and cons and whatnot. If you want to watch that video, I encourage you to do so. It will be linked down in the description. It might be a good idea to watch that first because this is an updated version. If you watched my last video back in May of 2021, wow, time's flying by, right? Ooh, crazy. Huh. I mentioned that there are three hearing aids that can connect to this TV connector. They are the Phonics line, so that's the Paradise, the Marvel, and the Adeo B Direct. So those are the three that they list on their website that says it can connect to the TV connector. Connect, connect, connect. From what I've gathered, that still holds true. I'm going to throw you a question before we get into the topics in this channel, and that is, do you have Bluetooth hearing aids? I do, and it has been a game changer for me in many ways. They have enhanced my ability to hear and understand speech in work life and personal life. If you do not have Bluetooth hearing aids, I would highly recommend that you talk to your audiologist and go under a trial. They're fantastic. So with that being said, in this video, we'll be talking about Bluetooth hearing aids connecting to the TV connector. We will not be talking about the T-coil and hearing aids. I have the Phonex Paradise, and of course they have Bluetooth. Comments. Oh my goodness, I love comments, you guys. All right, down in the description below, I had some comments to that last video. Comments allows us to gather more information from other people doing different things with technology and they share it with us so that it could better for us, right? So they talk about stuff in the comments and I do it in a video and somebody else may watch it and it just goes on and on and it's just wonderful. We are going to take a trip to my TV. It's actually a past video that I created as I'm sitting in my living room on my couch watching with my husband and my many dogs. And I am going to talk about five tips for success using the TV connector. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'm going to share with you something I would suggest Bonac do in their next version of the TV connector. Okay, number one, first time users. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you're a first time user for this thing, again, go watch that old video back last year. If you are a new person connecting to the TV connector, I can relate because right now I had to change my hearing aids. I was using the Phonic Cross. The Cross has a hearing aid in one side and a receiver in the other. Basically, it takes all the information on this side and brings it to the hearing aid. So you get all your sound in one ear, which was really good in a sense because this is my best ear and this is a really bad ear. But I didn't like the fact that I lost all hearing if I listened to different devices. So it would like totally block out background noise when I wanted to have a little bit. Now I have two hearing aids on each side. They are both behind the ear hearing aids with a in the canal receiver and so I get a lot of power that way. Well, when I changed those hearing aids, my hearing aids did not connect immediately to the TV connector. We are going to walk over to my TV and we're going to look for the TV connector and it's right under the TV on one of the shelves. And as you can see, there is a button on the top. That's the on button right in the middle. When you touch the on button, you're going to see a little green light in the back that flashes. As soon as that turns on, you want to let go of the on button. The way to connect to your hearing aid through Bluetooth is there is a little dial in the very back of the Phonic TV connector right there. You want to be able to hold that down 
then you turn on your hearing aid so that the Bluetooth is activated on your hearing aid and the Bluetooth is activated on the TV connector and they will have a conversation and hopefully connect. You'll have to stay pretty close to the TV connector until that connection is made. If it does not connect, shut everything down again to reboot and then go ahead and try again. And when I got my new hearing aids and I switched to this guy, it took five, nope, six times for me to reconnect. And now it works like a charm. Every time I turn on this bad boy, it goes right to the TV, no problem. So that is for newcomers and people who change hearing aids and I'm trying to reconnect. Don't give up. Just keep on turning them off, reboot, turning them off, reboot. Think of it like rebooting your computer. It sometimes just needs a little rest. And then when you reboot it, it's all charged up and ready to go. No idea why that analogy would make sense in my brain, but it does. Number two, TV connector volume. So we're going to be talking about the TV connector and we're talking about the volume, which is on the bottom. You have the positive and the negative and all the different dials in between that you can dial up or down. And the reason I want to talk about this is because when you set this up to your hearing aid, to your hearing level that you feel comfortable hearing, you want to keep it on the lower end because you don't want to have too much sound going into your ears and hurting your eardrum. I would suggest turning it down, the negative sign, as far as you can go down to reasonably hear well. Because I'm going to show you a different way, which was suggested by one of my subscribers about how you can connect to your phone adjust the volume. All right, that's the next one. Number three, other than the connector, I have a comment right down here from Alfred Spencer, and this is what he says. Essentially, he has said that you can toggle up on your phone using the Phonak app. Now, a couple of things I noticed with connecting to the phone itself. I have my phone connected through Bluetooth to my hearing aid, and my hearing aids can connect up to eight devices. So one of them is my phone, my other one is my computer and one is for my TV and then of course I have another one that's connected to my truck. So that's four devices, right? One, two, three, four, yeah. So I have four devices. The thing I found is when I was trying to use the Phonic app, and let me open it up for you. This is the Phonic app here. Now, as soon as I open up my phone, when I turn on my phone, the hearing aid connects to this and cancels everything out. So it thinks that it's just connected to this and this should be my primary thing that I'm using. Does that make sense? When I open up the Phonic app and allow my hearing hearing aid to connect and you'll see at the very top that it is searching for your hearing aid and you'll see how much battery you have at the very top and right in the middle you have right at the bottom right underneath the dial there the toggle you'll see this little line with a little circle on it you hit that and it will it will separate into individual ear if you use two hearing aids like myself this is something that you would want to use if you don't you just stay back to the original toggle now when I try to use this because it still thinks I'm connected to the phone, I realized at the very top, I had to go to the arrow on the right side, the drop down arrow, and I clicked on that and I went back to the TV remote. That was how I could get away from my phone and get back to hearing my TV. So it takes a little playing around to get this done, but this is a great option to be able to increase the sound right from your phone so you don't have to get up and keep adjusting on the TV connector, you know, because I, sometimes I feel lazy and I just don't want to get up. <laughs> That's why we have remote controls so we don't have to get up. This is our remote control to the hearing aids, to the TV, to my own personal control. All right, back to number three, we are looking at another comment. I don't want to say this gentleman's name because I didn't get permission to bring it up in this video. He essentially uses the hearing aid volume right in the back to turn up the hearing aid so he can hear the sound better on his TV. He doesn't use a remote on his phone, nor does he seem to get up and turn it up on the TV connector by the TV. So that's another option. You can do the app, the Phonic app, or you can do the hearing aid itself, or you can get up off your bum and walk over there and turn up the connector on the TV. Your choice. Number four is the phone takes priority over TV. If you all of a sudden see an ad on TV and you want to look it up on your phone and there is a video, bam. As soon as you hit on the phone, 
you go to say YouTube and you look up something on YouTube and say you wanted to learn about a stethoscope that you want to use with your hearing aids. I have a bunch of videos like that. You can go to my channel and you'll see it, right? I want to learn about that. I can hear from the phone, right from the video, and the TV is no longer the priority source. This is. There's some pros and cons of that too, right? Sometimes you don't want it. Sometimes you do. Just got to play around. Number five, range. This thing has fantastic range. Like I've said in my other video is that when I walk away, I go up the stairs and I go down the hall to my office. I am still connected to the TV, which is essentially right underneath my feet in the living room. I think it's pretty fascinating that I can hear the TV pretty much anywhere in my house. Granted, I have a pretty small house. However, it's pretty nice that you can actually go and go to the kitchen and still hear the TV instead of asking somebody to pause the movie when you can still hear it. That's pretty cool. So the range is pretty good. On the Phonak website, it says up to 15 meters. So 15 meters. So 15 meters into feet is 49 feet. So 15 meters is 49 feet, almost 50 feet. Really? Huh. I should count. One, two, three, four, five, up the stairs, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way up there. But the TV is underneath me, so I don't think that counts. If I were to go outside, I should try going outside and go for a little walk. No, I don't want to do that. Those are the five tips that will make it easier for you to have success with your TV connector. It's pretty cool. I love it. And um, I think you will too. If you have Bluetooth hearing aids that are made by Phonic and have the Paradise, the Marvel or a Deo B Direct or something like that, then you're in luck. I'm going to talk about the last topic, which is sort of a bonus, is solo listening. The reason why I titled this one solo listening is because when my husband goes to bed, he goes goes upstairs to the bedroom and for some reason the sound from the TV travels up the stairs and it's very loud upstairs and so I can essentially turn it down really low on the TV or turn, you know, put the mute on, and I still have the same amount of volume in my ear. It's pretty fascinating to know that he can't hear anything, but I can hear everything. It's great. I love it. So that's, I'm by myself, and I can hear the TV, and nobody else in the world can. Pretty cool, because I used to blare people's ears out with my TV. Can you turn that TV down? So to back up, before he goes to bed, I will be talking to him and he has the TV on at his level and he wants to talk to me and I won't be able to hear him because there's no way to mute the TV connector. Can't mute it on the Phonic app. You can't mute it on your hearing aids and you cannot mute it on the TV connector. So that could be a suggestion to Phonak. And when you update this thing, can you add some sort of mute option on this? It would be really beneficial. Well, that was fun. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Boop, bling, sound effects. I like those sound effects. That's it. Catch you later. Bye.